So you got your Mac computer. I'm going to show you how to set up Streamlabs desktop on Mac OS Monterey. Let's hop into it. Get ready for the sound. Straight from the underground. Get What's going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. First things first, what you want to make sure you do, you want to make sure you have Streamlabs desktop downloaded on your Mac OS device. Next, hope you picked up a few things, whether you picked up the Elgato HD60S Plus capture card, or did you pick up the Elgato HD60X capture card? And if you wanted to, you pick up the Elgato Chat Link Cable Pro, but I'm gonna show you how to set up Streamlabs desktop on macOS Monterey. So here's a Venn diagram, how to set up your capture card for using the Elgato HD60S Plus or the Elgato HD60X with your console. So you wanna take your console's HDMI cable, plug it into the capture card's end cable, take that USB-C cable that came into the box and plug that into your computer or I recommend that you get the USB-C to USB-C God Spin cable and you can plug that into your computer. That way you have a direct wire connection. You wanna take your second HDMI cable and plug that into the out port of the capture card and then take the other end and plug it into your monitor. You wanna make sure you download Streamlabs for your Mac OS uh, device. Then next, you wanna be go over to uh, the Elgato website and you wanna download. So now, if you're using the Elgato HD60S Plus Capture Card, you wanna go here, this, this website will also be down in the description box down below. But you wanna go down to the Elgato HD60S Plus and you wanna download the game capture for the Elgato HD60S Plus. You wanna download that for Mac. Now, if you got the Elgato HD60X, the Elgato's new capture card. They just uploaded on their website what are compatible with for Mac. So you can run OBS, Streamlabs, QuickTime, Zoom, and whatever this is. Many more apps are coming, but you can, these are what right now work with the Elgato HD60X. So if you want to record video and they give you a step-by-step set, setup guide, how to get them running if you want to record video through this process, which is cool because now I might want to get the Elgato HD60X and show you guys tutorials. So if you want to see that, let me know down in the comment section down below. But after you have that download, go ahead and restart your computer. So it gives a free refresh. If you bought yourself Elgato Chat Link Cable Pro, Keep in mind that this only works with the HD60S Plus on the Game Capture HD software. Downloaded and restarted your computer. You want to go over here to this little settings icon. You want to make sure that you have that this checked off with analog. That way you can hear your game audio, talk to your party while using the chat link cable which means that you're gonna be using the Elgato Chat Link Cable Pro. You wanna have this checked off. But if you wanna pull all your audio through HDMI, then leave it unchecked and set this to HDMI. Now, to run Streamlabs Desktop, you must make sure that you have the Game Catcher HD software closed. It will not work if you have it open. So make sure you close that fully and you don't have to worry about that. So prior to that, what you wanna do now, you're gonna to wanna to open up Streamlabs Desktop. After you get it downloaded on your computer, once you have Streamlabs desktop downloaded on your computer, you should be on version 1.9.1. .1, and you want to sign in to your preferred software wherever you're going to stream to either Twitch, YouTube, Facebook Gaming. Once you do that, you should get this screen. From there, you're now you're on Streamlabs basic home screen. This is your layout. This is what you're going to use to stream and read chat off and everything else. So whenever you start streaming, if you want to see chat, there's a little arrow that's right here that helps you see the chat and then your live stream. So you want to come down here to the settings icon. Your stream should be signed into whatever destination you are going to be streaming from. Now you want to set up your settings just like this. You want to click on the tab that says output. Change the output mode to advanced. From there, you'll be able to have more features. So your audio track, you want to set to one. You want to make sure you're using the Apple hardware encoder. Now, if you have an N1 Mac and you don't see the hardware encoder, you can use the software encoder. Still sufficient. You should see the hardware encoder. From there, you want to make sure you check off N4 streaming service encoder settings. Your bit rate, your bit rate is going to be for your internet upload speed. So what you want to do is if you want to know your internet upload speed, you might want to download speed tests or go to Google and search internet speed test and track what your internet upload speed is i'll show you mine for sitting right now and this is running mac os monterey 
what the number you want to keep in mind is you want to look at your internet upload speed. So if you're running a high internet upload speed like I am, then from there you should be able to, you know, set your bit rate to whatever your platform streaming is, uh, recommends. But if you have low internet upload speed, keep this bit rate number between 2000 and 4,500, that would be good and sufficient for both. You don't need to go no higher than that. So from the output, you know, you wanna have your bit rate, depends on your internet upload speed. You do not have to check limited bit rate. Keyframe intervals to profile high, use B frames. The next tab you wanna click on, you wanna click on your audio tab, but you wanna come down here to your mic, your mic audio. You wanna make sure you set that to whatever microphone you have plugged into your Mac OS device. Next tab, you wanna click on the video tab. You wanna make sure your base canvas is 1920 by 1080 and your output scale is 1920 by 1080. Good basic scale. You can use bicubit for 16 samples, or if you have a powerful machine that's running with a dedicated graphics card, you can use 32. Doesn't matter, either one. Common FES, 60. Now, you wanna see like, okay, how do I get my gameplay on there? So you're gonna have your sources set section. You're gonna click on the little plus icon. From there, you wanna add a video capture device. And in that video capture device, you can name it to whatever you want. If you want to click on the drop down menu, you want to click on the game capture card, change this preset to 1920, 1080, hit done. Now you can resize this and just drag it out. I find it faster if you just right click and go down to transform and hit fit to screen and lock it in place. Doing that being said, now that you got your gameplay, now you need your gameplay audio. Next, you're going to go back to that little plus icon and you want to hit the audio input capture. This is where you're going to add the game audio from the capture card. Name it to whatever you like. Now you're going to get this screen. Once you get this screen, you want to, it's going to say device and default. You want to click on this drop down arrow. You want to select your get, capture card so it can bring in the audio. And then it's going to say audio monitoring. You can set this to mute monitor only and mute the output, or you can mute monitor and um, have the output. You can set it to both. Either one doesn't matter. I usually just set mine to monitor and output. So from right here, right now, everything else is closed. Now you'll see the gameplay audio is coming in. And right now you see my microphone audio come in. So what I like to do is I like to grab this little volume slider and bring this back some to like out the yellow. That way your gameplay is not louder than your microphone. But now you're like, okay, well, I want to add a webcam and everything else. So everything that you want to want to find and add will be in this plus icon. Make sure you keep in mind that anything that you, you add to the sources, you want to make sure it's above the HD60S, your capture card. That way you can see your gameplay. So you want to add, if you want to add a webcam, you go back to here and you go to that plus icon and you go back to another video capture device and then you do the same steps. But you click on video capture device, you click on add source. Instead of adding the same source, you want to click down here where it says add a new source instead. So now that you got Streamlabs desktop up and running on macOS Monterey, go ahead and give it a shot. Come back to this video, leave a comment down below and let me know what is your experience with Streamlabs desktop and how you liking it so far. All the stuff that I mentioned in this video will be down in the description box down below. So you'll be able to check out those links. Those links are affiliated links. And they do help out me, which help out the channel. Other than that, take care of everybody. God bless. And I'll catch you guys in my next upload. Peace.